this rain is going to stick around for the rest of the week? Is this kind of the trend we're setting? Well, the good news is we won't have to deal with the rain showers. The, I guess the bad news is we're going to deal with some very chilly temperatures in the near future. Expect temperatures going into Wednesday morning in the 40s. Wow. It's still summer. But you wouldn't think of it because Can't of tell. all the cooler <laughs> weather that we have. And we do believe we'll see 80 degree temperatures in the near future. Just have to wait a few days. Let's first take a look outside the old Doppler radar. We're zoomed in on Jackson County, Lenaway County, and Hillsdale County at this hour. You can see some showers and thunderstorms still making their way through parts of mid Michigan. Now, the activity that you see is not severe at this point. We're still uh, not seeing any severe weather, uh, severe thunderstorm. In order to have one, you either have to have uh, you have to have that inch of hail. You have to have 60 mile per hour winds or at least 58 mile per hour winds that is or you have to have a tornado, which certainly for us it's not the case. I don't believe we're going to be seeing any more severe weather the rest of the night. I guess we'll have to watch and see what the rest of the evening holds. Let's take a look at the rest of the conditions uh, outside right now. The three hour, six hour loop rather, and you can see just over those past six hours how the showers and thunderstorms really started to roar through parts of mid Michigan and we had some warnings earlier but no severe weather at this time. Temperature wise, the rain showers really cooled some of us down. Like in the capital city, it's only 64 degrees outside, closer to 70 in Ionia. The 70 degree mark is the only 70 degree mark showing up there in Hastings, but the majority of us middle and upper 60s. It's humid, it's hazy, and there's still some rain showers out there. Let's talk a little bit about the rain that we've seen today. Just under 7 tenths of an inch of rain in the capital city. You make your way down to Jackson. Oh boy, under or just over 1.6 inches of rainfall and some places in Jackson County have seen over two and a quarter inches of rain. Yeah, when you get that in a short period of time, you start to worry about those low level flooding, especially like we ran that story a little bit earlier in Kalamazoo. And we've even seen some pictures on Facebook uh, of some of the conditions in Jackson. So make sure that if you are a com are you coming up on the flooded roadways, turn around, don't drown. You don't may not know how deep it is and you don't want to put yourself or the lives of others in a possibly deadly situation or, or situation that really could endanger your lives. Take a look at some of the temperatures out there, especially to the north, already 40 degree temperatures in Marquette, even Ashland, Wisconsin. And this is because of that frontal boundary that already made its way through. We actually have a couple at play that are keeping our conditions a little dreary at this hour. Warm fronts making its way through our area at the current time in the southern portion of the viewing area. That also includes I-94 and southward. The cold front itself is draped to the north of us, and you can see the severe weather is st really starting to fade away because of the daytime heating. You don't get all that in the afternoon and evening hours when the sun sets, so you don't really see a severe threat that often. And in fact, most of us will be clear by the morning hours. As you remember at the 530 hour, uh, we were showing you this model and it was showing just nice and cloudy. Well, the good news is this model finally uh, pulled us out into the clear weather, and I believe that'll be the case late Tuesday into the daytime on Wednesday as well. So cool temperatures are on the way with those clear skies and northerly flow. A look a little bit closer to home at some of the temperatures are still back down into the 50s tonight. Well, tomorrow near 70 degrees, but watch what happens going into the morning hours on Wednesday. Whoo hoo, it's chilly outside middle and upper 40s. You wouldn't think 40s in summer, but yeah, they're back at least for one morning. We'll be back pretty close to 70 degrees come Wednesday afternoon. But for tonight, the rain showers will eventually and we're going to call for 55 degrees. You may vary by a degree or two. Tomorrow, sunny skies, 71, about 10 degrees below normal for this time of the year. Take a look at the next seven days. At least we get more sun. The cool temperatures on Wednesday near 70, 75 Thursday, 80s for the weekend. If you plan on heading out to the Pure Michigan 400 at Michigan International Speedway, one of my favorite places to go this time of the year. 81 degrees, lots of sunny skies. We'll still be pulling for a lot of good weather in the upcoming weeks ahead. All right, we'll wait for it. Thanks, David.